Hello, Daniel. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, teacher. Okay, I'm so happy that you are today in the class. What? I am so happy to see you here in the class. Uh, okay, I am teacher. very I'm happy. happy. Yes. Okay. Okay. Did you watch the videos? Uh, no. Uh, only I see you did your the homework. Lesson. I see you did your homework. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so you're not, uh, you, you don't feel well tonight. What? With a cough. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, mm. Sí, estoy un poquito, bueno, no un poco, sino que este, nos hicieron unas pruebas porque un compañero salió con tuberculosis y nos hicieron también a nosotros todas las pruebas ahí también en el trabajo. Ok, ok. I'm so sorry to mm -hmm. hear that. Ok. Entonces los mandaron a la casa. Sí. Ok. Ok, sí, bueno, sí. espero que se sienta Entendí. mejor pronto. Sí, pero también, porque la verdad no me siento muy malo, pero... Sí. Pero ahora hicieron los exámenes y nos van a decir. Primero Dios va a estar todo bien. Pues Primero bien. Dios, sí, que sea solo un resfriado sí. lo que le afecte. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí, lo vi un poco mal que se sentía quizás desde la primera clase, ¿verdad? Sí, aproximadamente este, del jueves, porque el compañero el viernes fue que le dijeron eh, que le, le llamaron del hospital, de que le, le llamaron al trabajo, Ajá. porque no contestaba el teléfono, se, se lo había cargado, me llamaron al trabajo, el trabajo nos contactaron, que tenía que ir para el hospital. Okay. Y ella fue que nos dijo él. Que le habían detectado. Sí, dos. porque cuando empezamos las clases... Eh, a mí me extrañó que bien calladito estuvo usted y pues sí, usted es muy participativo y ese día sí lo vi que se sentía un poquito mal porque hasta cerraba sus ojos y dije yo, algo pasa uh -huh. y luego se ausentó. Ay, señor, dije, ok, ¿verdad? Sí, lunes, martes, sí, sí me sentí algo mal, no tengo pastillas, igual ahora otra vez seguro que me hicieron también otros otro examen otras cosas y yo okay. solo no hicieron los exámenes del, para ver la tuberculosis ok ok hay que cuidar ahí a la familia verdad para y, y protegerlos verdad para que no se transmita sí. nada ahí si en todo caso primero dios que no haya nada verdad Sí, primero Dios, porque no me siento tan mal, mal, digamos, igual no se compran, no me tan mal, mal, digamos. Lo que pasa es que ese es él. un proceso largo, o sea, eso no es de que ahorita le, le haya dado, sí, ese eh, viene de, de un tiempo atrás, o sea, que hay que tener mucho cuidado realmente, más en estos días, vea que cualquier situación de la vía respiratoria se confunde, ¿verdad? Sí, de hecho, en otros nosotros pensábamos hasta que quizás quizá COVID le, le habían detectado, pero no nos no dijo más cosas. Pero no, hay mandó de que decía tuberculosis. Oh, ok. La, bueno, realmente lo sí. siento porque es un gran golpe recibir una noticia así, Daniel. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Pero okay. bueno, ahorita vamos a... Pero no bienvenido a nuevamente y primero Dios todo va a ir bien. Gracias, señor. Ok, Gracias. Daniel. Hello, Carlos Roberto. Hello, Wendy. Good evening, guys. 
I'm going to start to take the attendance uh, because um, it's important your punctuality. So I have to comply too, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, let's start. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Okay. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok, Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin, ok, Carla. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Nancy Beto Barrivera. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Okay. And there we are. Okay, people, we are going to start tonight with our class let's remember that we are starting a new unit okay today we have a new unit and the topic for tonight is online orders and refunds en nuestro manual nos corresponde estudiar online orders and refunds okay just let me Go to the presentation. Okay, let's remember the first unit was purchasing and storing. Okay, we finished unit one and we start tonight online orders and refunds. Unit two. Okay, unit two. This is the video conference number six. And the topic for tonight is demonstrative pronouns, okay? Demonstrative pronouns, okay? Do you know what they are? Which ones are they? Do you know? Do you know about these pronouns? Something? No. <laughs> no, okay, we are going to learn tonight, okay? And let's see the objective for tonight is that you are going to be able to use these pronouns correctly in a conversation in which someone is ordering a product from an online store. Okay, this is our objective for tonight. What date is it today, guys? What date is it today? August 25th. Okay. 26th of 2021. Thank you very much. Today is August the 26th of 2021. And we are going to learn about the demonstrative pronouns, okay? So let's continue. 
This is our agenda for today. The first thing we are going to do is uh, feedback, conversation, okay? Conversation using the going to. And well, we read the class objective for tonight and we are having a short briefing about the demonstrative pronouns and we are going to do some written activities in our manuals, okay? Then we are going to the breakout rooms to have a conversation about shopping online, okay? And then the session one-on-one -on -one for today is Carlos Roberto's turn, okay? Carlos Roberto, today is your day to stay at the end of the class, okay? Okay, let's start with this feedback, okay? Let's start with this feedback. Let's think that, let's imagine, let's imagine that you are in charge of the purchase or the purchasing department, okay? You are in charge of the purchasing department or maybe you are an agent of that, of that department and the, Maybe another department is requesting, okay, is requesting for some office uh, supplies that they need, or maybe some things that they need to operate. So we are going to buy paper tonight in our company, okay? We are going to buy paper in our company. So this is an example, okay? What things we have to consider when we are going to buy paper for our offices, okay? So let's see the questions. How much, I'm, I'm sorry, how much paper do we need? How much paper do we need? Okay, let's have an idea. How much paper do we need? My example could be, mm, we need, three boxes, okay? Three boxes of 12 packages each, okay? You get it? Five boxes of 12 packages each, okay? Or 12 reams of paper, okay? In every box, in every box, and they are five boxes. Okay, so let's think about what size of paper do we use in the office? What size of paper do we use? A ver, veamos ahí, ¿qué tipos de papel conocen? ¿O qué tamaños de papel conocen? Tamaño carta. Okay, uh -huh. <laughs> letter size, yes. And what are the dimensions of the letter size? What are the dimensions of the letter size? Do you know? Eight. Uh -huh. By 11 inches. Eight inches by? Eight period five. By 11 inches. Okay, yeah, 11 inches. Okay, well, I, if I'm not wrong, it will be eight inches by um, 11, right? Is it correct? Eight five is correct. Okay, 8.5, 8.5. En este caso, en los números no decimos period, decimos point, okay? 8.5 inches by 11 inches, letter size. What size do we use in our offices? Do you use that size? Yes, we do, teacher. Yes, yes. yes teacher. <laughs> okay, there you are. So what color of bone or, or what color of paper do we need? 
what color of paper do we need? I'm going white. to open that. Mm -hmm. What color of paper do we need? White. White. Okay, white. White. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's imagine, let's imagine. There is one paper that we call it copy. Do you know that paper? It's like a blue one. Do you know that? Do you know the other carbon paper? Okay. D do we need carbon paper in our offices? Do we need carbon paper? Okay, we can include it in the requisition here, okay? Now, let's see, how much does it cost? How much does it cost? How much does a ream of paper cost? And how much uh, do five boxes of 12 rims of paper cost? How much do you think? Uh -huh. How much? Fifty-three dollars. Fifty-three dollars. The box. The box. Ten okay. pieces. Okay, ten rims of paper. Good. So fifty-three dollars by five because we are gonna buy five boxes, right? Okay. So. Let's see, when is the purchase order going to be delivered to my office? When is this purchase order going to be delivered? Let's think, if today is Thursday, okay, when do we need that paper? When do we need that paper here in our offices? When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes, teacher, tomorrow, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tomorrow. And so what is the date of tomorrow? What's tomorrow's date? When is this purchase order going to be delivered? Tomorrow, uh-huh. Uh, ghost, the 20th. Twenty seventh of two thousand twenty one. Okay, in the morning, please. Okay, at eight in the morning. Correct. Got it. Okay. Ahora va a ser su turno. Vamos a irnos a los breakout rooms. Okay. Y ustedes van a hacer exactamente lo mismo que acabamos de hacer, pero ahora ustedes, como son los encargados de compras, ¿ok? We are going to buy uniforms for the warehouse employees, ¿ok? So you have to ask questions about the features of these uniforms, ¿ok? That we need for our people in the warehouse, ¿ok? Get it? Okay, I'm going to stop the sharing here. ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de la actividad? Teacher. Yes, tell me. It's no paper is uniform, the, the exercise. The exercise is about the uniforms, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to send the, um, the image. I'm sorry. Okay. There you have it. And now I'm going to create the rooms. We are team here. Siempre nos queda un grupo de tres, ¿verdad? 
pero ahí se las arreglan bien cabal. Primero uno, luego el otro, ¿verdad? There we are. Okay. Hello, Juan Carlos. Is... Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, teacher, I, I mm -hmm. can use the, the, the same uh, question. Yes, or... of course, but remember that uniforms is a countable noun, okay? So you have to adapt, yes. Okay, okay. okay. Um, uh, how paper many? is uncountable, yes. And uniforms, okay. how many, you can count. How many... Jennifer, do do we need? Correct. Okay. okay. Uh, in, in, in this case, uh, Edwin is the 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 suppliers, and I. Uh, uh, I okay. You are requesting. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Both. Okay. Touch. Okay. There you are. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then, comienzas tú, Edwin. Okay. Okay. Tú, tú me llamas, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, pero solo hacer las preguntas, nada más. O, Sería o diálogo, hacer... teacher. O, o, o... Yes, it's a pregunta. conversation. Yes. Oh, you ah, have to take entonces... in consideration that, but we are going to buy paper. I'm sorry, uh, the uniforms. We have to order them, but you are in charge of the purchasing department, okay? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, entonces, ¿es interno o sería externo? Como Para... usted quiera. Si usted quiere, puede hablar con el del departamento de compras o puede estar hablando directamente ya haciendo la compra, ¿verdad? Pero lo más correcto, pues, es solicitarlos, ¿verdad? A quien corresponde, ¿no? Okay. 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 okay, guys, keep, keep working. You are doing a good job in this case. So I'm going to another room, okay? Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, okay. how are you doing? Hello, teacher. Carla, did you take a set of minofen? Yes, teacher. Okay, well, <laughs> let's hope you are getting well soon. Yes. Okay, let's see. You have a question, right? What's your question? Vamos a hacer una conversación. Yes. Conversación es, ¿verdad? Exactly. You have to ask questions about the features of the uniforms that you want to get for the warehouse employees. Okay? Okay. Sería como el vendedor y el que va a comprar. Yes, uh, but what I told you is that you are in charge of the purchasing department. You are in charge of purchasing. Okay. Okay, teacher. There you are. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher, una consulta, alguna, algún apoyo. Ahí le envié, ahí le envié. 
con el que hicimos uh, el ejemplo. Uh, ahorita se lo envío. Hicimos el ejemplo con papel, right? Ah. Uh -huh. Ahorita se lo envío en el, en el WhatsApp. Okay. I will send it now. Okay, there you have it. So those are examples of the questions that you can ask. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Vaya, entonces, si es con respecto a las preguntas, comencemos con how, ma how many, porque los uniformes se pueden contar. Sí. Yes. Exacto. How many uniforms do we need? Okay, guys, I'm going to another room, okay? Keep working. Okay? You can call me anytime if you have any other question, okay? Okay. Okay, see you. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? Hello. Don't send the question examples. Uh, I have uh, I have to invent <laughs> but but uh, now uh, yeah tenemos una base. Oh okay, okay, yeah. I send them. I send them. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. We, Entonces, we need uniform. Uh, no, first it, it is uh, how many employees is in the uh, warehouse. Uh, How many employees are there? Okay, are there. I are there yeah, in okay. the world? In the mm -hmm. world. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, ten. There are twelve. Ten. Ten. ten? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ten, ten employees. Okay. Entonces, okay. Uh, the we answer. Need, the answer is. We need. We need. Okay. Ten uniform by oh. by employees by employees by employees. Oh, we need ten uniform. We need we need ten uniform. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is how much or, or, or is how many? It's countable or incountable? Incountable. How many? Countable? Yeah. How many? Okay. How many uniforms? Do you, do we need? Do we need? Okay. We need 10 uniforms. Okay. Okay. What size of uniform do you do we use? Do we use? Okay. We, uh, we use three, three and, and four. Okay. La primera era we knew ten uniform. uniform. Okay. Uh, and the key is uh, 
pantallas. What size? Medium, small, large. Uh, different size. Dif oh. Uh -huh, yes. Three sizes. For example, maybe four sizes. Yes, the question I think it will be what sizes do we need, right? What sizes, because they are countable, so we can say that in plural, right? What sizes do we need? And then you answer, we need three small, we need um, four large, right? And you, you specify okay. like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three medium, three four large. We need size three. Compañero, por si se me si se me three corta small. aquí ya está empezando a llover, oigan, por si se me corta la señal. Okay. Okay. Vamos a ver. Okay. Sigamos. What, what, what size of uniform uniform do we use? Or do you, we need? The answer is, we need three small, three medium, and four large. Four, four light. And four large. Do we use? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yes. What color of uniform do we need? Is one color? Is, is one and a, a the company one color think about what color of uniform all color black all color orange mm -hmm. all color red all color copy white color beige cuántos cuántas cuántas tallas eran all color white cuántas tallas eran podemos distribuirla no, contesté. Ah, we're, somos tres. O sea, puede ser que nos pregunten varias. Entre más contestemos, mejor. ¿Cuántas tallas eran? Tallas. Ah, tres. Sí. Size. Sí. Three. Three small. Three. Four, four small, large. Medium, large. Yeah, um, okay, uh, uh, three. Uh, next next question. Number number three. What color? Okay. What color? Estamos de acuerdo un solo color. Eh, Juan Carlos dice eh, black white. Shivani. Black and white. Black black and white. What you think? Black and white. <laughs> black and white. <laughs> What color of uniform do we need? Entonces, we need? Uh, we, we need two colors? We need. Yes. White and, and black. OK. Okay, guys, I'm going to another room, so please keep working. You are doing a good job. Discuss this thing first. Okay, Thank nice. You, okay. okay. Yeah. We, we, gray, gray, we, gray, uh, gray and white. Okay, white and gray. Está bien, gris y blanco. The price is? Twenty dollars for for each each uniform. Algo así. No, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> Was it interesting? Okay, come on, tell me, tell me. <laughs> okay, did you buy the uniforms already? Ready. Yes. 
Yes. Okay. So you know the style, you know if it's going to have maybe four or eight uh, bags, I mean, pockets, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe if it's going to get some zipper or buttons, or if it has the sign here. No. Hey, come on, guys. I hey. <laughs> <laughs> got you. Okay. Oh, How much are they going to cost? Ten dollars. Okay, and how many? Ten dollars each. Uh, okay, how many uniforms are you going to buy? One thousand. One thousand. Oh my God, it's a very big warehouse. It's a very big company. <laughs> Good. What color did you choose? White. White color. White. Oh my God, for the warehouse, mm, it's kind of. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I think in my in my opinion, if it is an industrial thing, it could be orange, right? Orange, orange. or maybe brown or something like that because of the precaution, right? Or the caution, right? The color. We need to see. Imagine you are going with a machine, I mean, with a lift, and you don't see because, right, it's, or something like that, right? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Just, just saying, just saying, okay? <laughs> This is just saying, but it's, it, it is okay if you want them white. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, nice. Oh, but maybe they are administrative people, right? <laughs> In the warehouse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, they are from administration. Good, good. Okay, nice, guys. Now you tell me. Tell me about uh, what oh. you did. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know only that I guess mm, and be, the sizes, because you want to the practice sizes. speaking you want to practice speaking ah, come on come okay. on come on okay okay we are going to do do that um how many uniforms do we need okay uh, we need uniform we need 1000 uniforms for what size what, what sizes of uniforms do we need? Uh, we need size uh, 200 medium, 500 uh, small, and 300 medium, oh, no, medium, large, large. large. Uh, okay. How much does it cost? Uh, it costs is 10 dollars each. Per unit? Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Well, yeah, it, it costs is ten dollar dollar each. Okay. It cost ten dollars each. Each. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. What color of uniforms do we need? Uh, we need a white color. Does it have a discount? Yes. Uh, the uniform discount is 10 percent 10 percent okay so it's going to be the same price karina you get it it's going to be the same price but we did the discount already that's what he said okay oh of course it has a discount <laughs> you are getting them for ten dollars okay so 10% of discount, you get them in $10. <laughs> like, very good in business. At yes. business. Nice. <laughs> no te cambió el precio. No, no les cambió el precio. <laughs> bueno para el negocio. <laughs> okay. Only that. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you have women working in the warehouse? Yes, of course. Okay, so are you going to request some female uniforms? Mm, yeah. Yeah, ah, you didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good point, half right? Half and half. Uh, okay, half and half. Good, good. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to another room. Continue, okay? Continue. You are doing mm. a very great job. Okay? Thank you. Okay.
Okay, people. Now we want to listen to Carlos Eduardo and his classmates. Juan Carlos and Giovanni. Juan Carlos. <laughs> Hello, Giovanni. <laughs> okay. Uh, how many uniforms do we need? We need 10 uniforms. What size of uniform we use? We need three small, four large, three medium. What colors of uniform do we need? We need two colors, black and yet black and white. Okay, how much does it cost? The price are fifteen dollars by unit. When is this purchase order going to be delivered? Please purchasing order on August 27, 2021 at 9 a.m. Okay. Okay, guys, this is express. Yeah, they are going to make 10 uniforms for tomorrow. Good, maybe they have it in the warehouse already, right? Okay, this is just joking, just joking. Okay, let's see. First thing, when we talk about uh, a unit, we say per unit or each, okay? We don't say by unit. Um, uh, did you say something about by or something like that? I don't remember well, but it is per unit. Per unit. Yes, or each. Okay. Okay, $15 each or $15 per unit, okay? Okay. There Thank you me. are. Okay, let's see. Uh, we want to listen to, okay. A ver, Kevin, ¿a quién quiere escuchar? Díganos un nombre. Sí, sí, sí. Uh, bueno, es que a mí me tocó con Soleima. Oh, okay, then he wants to participate. Yay, Kevin. Yay, there you go. Nice. Okay. There you are, how, Suleyma. Okay. How many uniforms do we need? Uh, we need five uniforms. What size of uniform do we use it? Uh, we we need from small size to extra large size. Okay. What color of uniform do we need? Um, we need yellow pants and orange shirt. How much does it cost? It is twenty dollars. When it this pushasen Orden go, go, going to be delivered? On Monday, Turi. On Monday? Turi. Yeah. Uh, 30th. 30th. Okay, 30. the 30th. Okay. Good. So, well, next week, right? Excellent. Excellent. Now, let's see. Thank you, Kevin. Yes, you did a good job. Estamos con Carlos Roberto. Ajá, Carlos Roberto. Le voy a hacer yo las, las Go ahead. para que participe. Ok. Carlos Roberto, how much uniform do you we need? Okay. Um, uh, excuse me, excuse me, Suleyma. Let's try ah. to uh, Suleyma. Let's try to read the questions 
reading each word, ok? Trate de ir ah. leyendo palabra por palabra, pero en una forma fluida siempre, ¿verdad? Entonces, veamos la primera pregunta. How okay, many teacher. uniforms? Slow. How many uniforms? How many uniforms do, do we need? Do we need? Uh -huh. We need 20 uniforms. What size of uniform do we need? We need from a small size to extra large size. What color of uniform do we need? I think yellow pants and orange shirt. How much does it cost? $20. When it is push us, orden going to be delivered? And the next month to be exactly on Monday 30th. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good, good. You see, well, let's see. ¿Qué otras preguntas le podríamos hacer a Carlos Roberto? Ok, ¿qué otras preguntas? Ahí habían bastantes preguntas que nos quedaban en el aire. About the sizes, right? About the sizes. He said, uh, we need from small uh, to large. Ok, but you didn't specify how many do you need of each size, right? So if I tell you, okay, I sell uniforms and I'm going to give you only two large and uh, two smalls and two, but we don't know the sizes of your people. Okay, so you have to specify something like that. Okay, let's see. Uh, and you said the colors, right? You mm -hmm. said yellow pants, no. Yes, and orange, uh, orange shirts, yes? Okay. Okay, so do they work inside or do they work outside? <laughs> like, <Inside. blah. laughs> on the warehouse. <laughs> okay, yeah, on, in the warehouse. Okay, in yeah, the yes, warehouse. Yes, okay, great. Now, who do you want to listen to? A quien queremos escuchar? Who do you want to listen to? Who do you want to listen to? Ah, yes, I know that Linda wants to participate. There you are. Yes, Linda, come on. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is the activity, teacher? Oh, I'm sorry. You are. Me, me conecté tarde. Pero ahorita, ¿verdad? Sí, ahorita. sí, sorry. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No me fijé en eso. Perdóneme, okay? Okay, let's see. Uh, la actividad es que uh -huh. estamos, ustedes la encargada, o sea, ustedes son los encargados de compras, okay, en la compañía. Y queremos comprar uniformes para los empleados de la bodega, okay? We need, we are going to buy some uniforms for the warehouse employees. So we are asking questions about the features of these uniforms that we need to buy, okay? So this is what we are doing. So if you want, you can just wait and then you are going to practice maybe with Silvio or with Karina, okay? There you are. Okay. Yes, I know they, they, are, uh, they collaborate, okay? <laughs> they like to collaborate. Okay, let's listen to Karina. Um, okay. Uh, how many uniforms do we need? With your classmate first and then with Linda, okay? Mm, okay. Oh. I don't remember <laughs> the <laughs> name of my classmate. Oh my God, it was Giovanni. <laughs> Giovanni. Yeah. <laughs> Giovanni, Sorry. Giovanni, hey Giovanni, are you hey, there? There you are, Giovanni. <laughs> there you are. Okay. All right. How many uniforms do we need? Mm, we need one thousand uniforms. What size of uniforms do we need? We need two size and 
200 size um, large, uh, 300 size medium, and 500 size um, small. How much does, does it cost? Uh, it cost is $10 each. And what colors of uniforms do we need? Uh, we need white color. Does it have a discount? Yes. Uh, the uniform uh, have a discount. It, a discount is 10%. Nice, 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 nice. Who wants to give an opinion of this of this conversation? It was very interesting, very interesting. You see, it's a very big warehouse. They need 1,000 uniforms. Oh, come on. Maybe they work for a Siman warehouse, right? Or something like that. <laughs> okay, for Humex, right? <laughs> or for, I don't know, uh, Freon, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Nice, nice, nice. I liked your conversation too. Okay, now let's see. Karina, please help me with Linda. Okay, I'm going to do the, the question. Okay. Um, um, how many uniforms do we need? Uh, we need 20 uniforms. And what colors of uniforms do we need? Blue and black. Um, how much does it cost? Mm, maybe $10 each uniform. Okay, and what sizes of uniforms do we need? Uh, ten large and five extra large. They are big boys medium. in your warehouse. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, only that. <laughs> okay, nice, okay. nice. What I, was, what I was going to say is that in that warehouse, I don't know if it, in that warehouse um, they work women, okay? Um, but mm, talking about the, the price, guys, you said how much does it cost? Okay, that's the question that we had in the last example, right? Because we were talking about the paper. But now that we are talking about the uniforms, I think, I think that we didn't give any feature specification. So if I asked, how much does every uniform cost, right? How much does every uniform cost or uh, each uniform cost? And then the person can answer, well, it depends on the features that you need on the uniforms, right? It depends on the features. Depende de que como lo quiera, ¿verdad? It depends on the features of the uniforms, okay? That you want, that you need, for example. Okay, if you need it with eight bags, I'm, see, I'm sorry, not bags, pockets, right? If you need the shirt with a pocket here, or if you need the pants with four, four pockets, right? Uh, two in each leg of the pants, okay, then you are like giving the prices, right? Giving the prices. Or maybe because of the sizes, right? It depends on the sizes. Small are maybe $10 and large and extra large are $12.50, right? So, yeah. You see the difference here and you can, you have a lot to, to go beyond, okay, in your minds when you think about the uniform. So now let's continue. And we want to listen to Silvio. Do you want to listen to Silvio? Yay! Oh. <laughs> Edwin. Okay. okay, Edwin. Yes, we want to listen to Edwin too. 
Hello, good morning. We are need uniform. Hello, how many uniform do you need? Uh, I need for 25 employers. Okay, what size of the uniform do you need? I need different sizes and 12 small and 30 extra large sizes. Okay. What color of the uniform do you need? Uh, half black and yellow. <laughs> okay. I have uh, these colors. What? Okay. I have, I have this color. Okay. Okay. Oh, this color okay, is available, okay. right? Okay. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. But he said, he, I mean, I'm those... sorry, Edwin, did you say half black and yellow, like vertical or like the other? Sure, it uh... depends. <laughs> okay, come on, continue, continue, guys, continue. I'm just, you know. <laughs> does it... How much does those cuts, those, those it cost? Uh -huh. The price is $20 for each uniform. Okay. What what is what is this purchase order going to the deliver? The delivery will be in three weeks. In three two weeks. weeks. Okay. okay. Do you have a schedule for a try on? Para un día de prueba, verdad? Llegar. Right? Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's continue, guys. You are doing a really good job. So now let's listen to Wendy. Okay. Con Ana Cristina. Yay. Do you want to listen, Ana Cristina? Yay. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Yes. Now we want to listen to Wendy. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Come on. How many uniforms do we need? We need five for administration, ten for production. What size do you need? We need. Pardon, what size do we need? We need five small for women, five medium and large for men. Yes. What color uniform do we need? White polo shirt, shirt and blue jeans. How much does it, it cost? The shirts five fifteen dollars and the jeans twenty dollars. When is this four shares order going to be delivered? Monday mon morning. What is the way to buy? Cash or check? Nice, girls, you did a good job. The thing I think, uh, well, here is, um, okay, the thing is that I think that maybe here we didn't have a conversation between the seller and the buyer. Maybe you are in the purchasing team, right? You were deciding together what you were going to buy. Ustedes estaban decidiendo juntas, así se sintió, o sea, no como un vendedor y un comprador, sino que entre las dos estaban compartiendo información de lo que una sabe, lo que la otra, decidiendo, right? Deciding what you want to buy. But you did a great job. Great job, girls. Okay, who's missing here? Who's missing? Let's listen to... Daniel. Okay. Uh, me tocó con Verónica. Okay. Okay. Vero? Okay. okay. Si quieren que es usted, Verónica. Yo 
respondo como vendedor. Okay. Okay. Hello, I need buy uniform for warehouse employee. Hello. How many how many uniforms do you need? We need I need five uniform. What size of uniform do you need? I need three size large and two size small. Okay. What color of what do you need? I need all color black. And how much it costs? Uh, cost is ten dollar unit. Unit. When is going to be delivered? Uh, the delivery is in five days. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Nice, nice, because you have a period of time, a very reasonable uh, period of time of delivering, okay, this order. Very nice. You did a great job, guys. You did a great job. Okay, uh, I think everybody went through, right? Uh, did we listen to Nancy? Si escuchamos a Nancy? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Uh, uh, come on. ¿Con quién trabajo? ¿Con Kevin? No. Mm, con nadie. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I know it. I know it. Okay, Silvia, please help me here. <laughs> help, help. Okay, do you want to ask the questions to Nancy, please? I think Silvia is busy now. Carlos Eduardo, I think. Carlos Eduardo, please ask questions uh, for Nancy to answer. It's okay. There you go. Okay. How many uniforms do we need? Repeat. How many uniforms do we need? Um, um, we need one box for 15 for the pan. Okay, one box of 15 pants. Okay, great. Uh huh. Okay, what size of uniform do we use? Um, we use letter size. letter size okay uh but in this case um guys we don't say use porque la ropa no decimos use decimos wear 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 where okay, okay. Mm -hmm. where so what where sizes do size. you wear right so you oh. say what yeah. sizes so do we have where you use letter size uh, what what sizes? Small, oh. medium, small, large, mm -hmm. oh. extra large. Okay. You need fifteen, okay. right? You need fifteen, so you um, distribute the sizes in fifteen, right? Fifteen uniforms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Entonces, size medium. Uh -huh. small. Medium and okay. a small. Half and a half? Mitad y mitad? Medium. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then she okay. needs from the three sizes. Okay. 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 Uh, what okay. color of uniform do we need? Um, I need gray and blue color. Okay. Uh, How much does it cost? Um, Tens dollar for the shirts and 50 for the pants. Okay. 
Okay. okay. When is this purchase order going to be delivered? Delivered. 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 Uh -huh. delivered. Yes. No, um, when? Una fecha, a date. When, when they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when they are cancelling. <laughs> <laughs> when do you need them? When do you need? Do you need okay, them for the um, next week or the when do week. you need? The next mm. month. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, uh, August. Uh, August the 30th? Okay. Say, say it with me. Friday. August the 30th. August the 30th. Okay, Carlos Eduardo. Take note. Okay. okay. <laughs> there you, you are. are. There the it was an easy. It was an easy sale. Yeah. Okay, Thank <laughs> okay you. guys. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. You did a very good job with this conversation. I know that this is and uh, including the. I mean, the whole vocabulary in unit one. So you did a very good job, okay? I see that you are improving. So let's go and start with the topic for tonight, okay? The topic for tonight were the demonstrative pronouns, okay? So let's go to our manuals. In our manuals, we have, um, we have an activity, okay? And first, I want to ask a question. What method or um, what do you prefer uh, to buy? Do you prefer going to a physical store or do you prefer um, going to, I mean, buying online? What do you prefer? Do, where do you prefer to buy? Mm -hmm. Where? In a physical store? Yes, okay, Edwin store. says in a physical store. Or it was yeah, Daniel, I think, physical. right? Physical? Why? Yes. Why in a physical store? Why? Why? Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> let's try to say that hora. in English. <laughs> okay, let's try. Let's try. I see. I, I see. I see better. Uh -huh. I touch. You can touch I the touch. product. Okay, you can touch and test it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Online, you can't, right? Online, you can't. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. Oh, yeah. It can be a scam. Scam, okay? Like a estafa, right? Scam. Um. Fraude, right? Fraud. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, in these days of the pandemic or um, in the quarantine, what do you think it's better? Going online. to a physical store or I buying online? Online. 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 Okay. Right. Have you have you ever uh, buy any product online in these days? I see Wendy's uh, raising her hand. Wendy, do you want to say something? La lista. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'm always like this i'm sorry guys Pero algún día lo lograré. Algún día. <laughs> okay vamos a ver Okay, today is Thursday, the 26th, and let's start. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejia Alvarez. Today it wasn't here, Annie. Okay. 
Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. I know you were there. Okay, there you are. Carlos Alberto Melendez Rosales. Uh, he was kind of sick tonight. Okay, let's see. One second. And Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Nancy Betova Rivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Ok. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Ok. There we are. Thank you very much. Ok. For, uh, for telling me about the list. Now, let's continue with our manuals because uh, I was asking um, about what do you prefer? And also, what do you prefer to buy? Do you prefer to buy in a shopping mall? Do you prefer to buy in a local store or in an independent store? Or do you like to buy in small stores? Where do, do you like buying? Where? Mm -hmm. Where, guys? In a bomba. <laughs> nice. <laughs> In a discount store. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you like bomba. Why do you like bomba? Boom. Cheap. <laughs> because it's cheap. Yeah. Well, it's not that cheap now, right? It's not that cheap now. Okay. Just let me share this. Online. Online. Okay. So Wendy prefers to buy online. Okay. Uh, what products? Buy, excuse me? To buy what? Clothes? Shoes? Food? Depends. It depends. Depends. In restaurants? Uh huh. And deliveries? It's, it's better online. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It depends on the product that you want to buy. Okay. Yeah. It depends on the products that you want to buy. There are good places to buy food, right? Or sites to buy food, right? So it depends on the product, product you want to buy. Okay, for example, if you want to buy shoes, What do you prefer to get them? A physical uh, store. In a physical store? Okay. Physical, yes. Physical. Okay. In this case, uh, as Danielle said, because we have to try them on, right? We have to try them on and see if they fit, right? If they fit on us, right? So let's see. Um, Shoes and a physical store. Okay. Now, what do you think about if you want to buy a, if you want to buy, ah, we said food, right? If we want to buy food, what do, where do you prefer to get the food? Pizza. Okay, like, well, I prefer delivery too, right? I prefer deliver, yeah, home yes. delivery. Mm -hmm. So we could say um, home delivery, okay, home delivery. And in that case, 
do you order by an application or do you order directly to the restaurant? Where do uh, you? With an app, okay, with like app. coupon. Oh, okay. Discount. <laughs> uh huh. Discount. Uh huh. Great. Um, for example, this is talking about food, right? But for example, the groceries, okay? Groceries. I'm um, sorry. Groceries. Groceries means, for example, uh, the vegetables, the milk, and um, bread, and things we can get in the supermarket or on or in a market. Okay, those are groceries. Groceries, los comprados de todo que necesitamos para nuestra cocina y para nuestra casa, right? So, where do you prefer to buy groceries? Do you prefer to buy them online or going to the supermarket? Online, do not count to live it here. Excuse me? Online. Online. Uh -huh. Online. Uh -huh. Do not count to here. <laughs> So you, you prefer not going? Eh, no, no. Eh, simplemente de que online no vienen hasta acá. Oh, okay. Broker. I didn't get that. Okay. Okay. They don't uh, have that service to your house or to your yeah. address. Okay. Well, to my address, I think I can order in a place, in an application or it's a place, it's called like market something. And yeah. I can buy lemons, I can buy, um, I can order okay. like tomatoes, potatoes, and... Um... It's in Eti, uh, no, in the <laughs> Okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sagrado corazón, right? Yeah. Well, they don't yeah. sell but, some... Only for funny price marks. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Only Price Mart. <laughs> oh, Price Mart. Yeah, meat. Good meat in Price Mart, right? Or what else do you like to buy in in Price Mart? Pizza también. Oh, yes, pizza. It's delicious. It's delicious. Pizza and chicken. Fried. Oh, yeah. fried chicken. Yes. Fried okay. chicken. What else? Frozen. Frozen. Oh, yeah. I love frozen. Yeah. I do love frozen from there. And they are cheap. Yeah. Comp uh, in a comparison from other places, those are cheap, right? Those are cheap. It costs like $250. Yeah. $2.50, right? Something like that. Or $2.25, I think, right? How much does a frozen cost in price, Mark? How much? Do you remember? Oh, really? So $2. Nice. Well, I love, I love coffee. <laughs> okay, the, the coffee frozen, right? Mm, they're called like uh, caramel and mm, mocha, right? Some things like that. Okay, guys. Now, let's think about groceries. You like to go to... Um, uh, department store, right? Department store or a local store, right? Or exactly the market, right? You can go to the market and get the groceries, right? And also you can go to a supermarket, right? Supermarket to get the groceries, right? All right, guys? Yeah. All right. Okay. Where do you think is cheaper? Where do you think is cheaper to buy these products? ¿A dónde creen que es más barato comprar las, los, hacer el mandado? Super select. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't you think yeah. that la despensa de Don Juan is cheaper? No? No. No, este... What about Walmart? Despensa familiar. Mm, oh, yeah, you're Max. right. Or Max. Or Max. Uh-huh. Oh, Maxi my. Despensa, yeah. Uh, who lives near Santa Tecla? Who lives near Santa Tecla? ¿Alguien vive cerca en Santa Tecla? No. no. Merliot City, do you know? 
Do you know no, Merliot City? No. no, where? There. In Merliot, there is a very big store. It's called Tienda Kenny, right? Everything no, that you was... need over there in Ciudad Merliot, if you ask anyone from there, you say, where can I buy pampers? Cheap pampers, right? Then they say, Tienda Kenny. Okay, where can I buy um, granola bars? Uh, Tienda Kenny, right? Everything. You can find everything in Tienda Kenny over there. <laughs> okay. Is there a place like that near your house? ¿Hay algún lugar así cerca de su casa? Super Alameda. Okay, Super Alameda. You, uh, I mean, they are affordable, okay? Son affordable. Le puedo escribir aquí la palabra. Affordable means que se puede comprar, ok, que el presupuesto alcanza, ok, affordable, <laughs> comprable, right? Supermarket, Supermarket Cojutepeque, Andrómeda, Andrómeda, ok, ok, so do you like to buy over there? Do you? Do you like to buy in that yes. place? Yes. Ok. Okay, so this is, I mean, because, for example, in our companies, they need to um, do the requisition, uh, requis I'm sorry, requisitions too, for example, of the office supplies or the cleaning supplies, or now that they have to buy the masks, right, and the alcohol, and maybe the antibacterial soap, right? So all of those things are supplies that our companies have to get in a place. Now, what places or what is the method that your company prefers? What is the method that your company prefers to buy? Do they prefer to buy in a physical place or do they prefer to buy in um, online? Yeah. Your in company. company I see, I see uh, physical uh, pero delivery. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they have representatives that attend yeah. to your company with uh they offer right they offer the products that they have it's kind of that they have sales representatives right yes. okay nice good that's a very good method right because the billing the billing could be uh per month the billing can be uh, every two weeks, right? So there, there are methods that the companies use to acquire their supplies, okay? So now let's think about what is the way that your company distributes their products or their services? ¿En qué manera les funciona más a su compañía? Vendernos. Ajá, vender su, ahora ya cambiamos. Estamos hablando de cómo su compañía distribuye sus productos y servicios que ofrece. ¿Los ofrece en un local físico o los ofrece online? Y si hace las dos, ¿cuál le funciona mejor? De hecho, en esta sería una tercera. I'm sorry. Calling the cost. Eh, a, sería una tercera opción. Okay, Calling which the one? Mm, eh, el vendedor llama. Calling. Okay, by Calling phone. The uh -huh, by phone and the consumer. Okay, offering, offering the product. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. It's like a call center? No. Eh, eh, nuestro producto, o oh, eh, the product of my company is seguridad privada. Security okay. private. Eh, Entonces, toca llamar. Ok, private security. Ok. Ok, so you call and offer your services to different um, potential clients, right? Ok. Good. Good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Daniel. Es más difícil aprender. Yes, because you have to look for, I mean, you have to go in the hunting, right? 
You have to go on a hunting. Mm -hmm. I think it's more difficult. Yes. What about in your company, Karina? Do they sell online? Yes. Okay. And physical. And well, a physical store too? Yes. Okay. And what do you think that the customers prefer? Mm, during the pandemic, I think online. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you had um, more visitors in your site on the pandemic. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we are talking about a year, right? A year or something. Okay. Okay, what about you, Ana Cristina? Your company? Uh huh. Online. Online, okay. Okay, the customers prefer the service online. The company is. Service. Okay. Online. Okay, great. Uh, so you don't have a physical store now. A physical, yeah. a local place. Mm -hmm. Only online. Is company service? Mm, I don't know. Physical. Okay, the service that you offer, you don't offer these in a physical place. You don't have a physical office. You have an online office. Okay, great, great. This is good to know. This is good to know uh, because I'm going to erase this, guys. I'm going to erase this. And this unit is about online orders, okay? Online orders. What is an order? An order is a purchase. Um, it's buying, right? An order is maybe they fill a form, okay, where you order the things, they um, file um, the amount that you need, they file when do you need these products for, I mean, the dates, um, they, register over there, the total price, if you get a discount, etc. So now let's see online, because online there is a process, right? There is a process. Every process, every process, as in Spanish, we call uh, that the uh, in the process, every step, okay, with an ordinal number, okay, we call them like first step, second step, Third step, todo proceso, incluso en español, lo nombramos así, ¿verdad? Cada paso que damos o cada etapa del proceso utilizamos números ordinales, right? In the last course, we said that we use the ordinal numbers for saying the date, right? Saying the date. But in this, we are going to see another use for the ordinal numbers in a process, okay, in a process. Vamos a ver cómo se usan los números ordinales en un proceso. Veamos cuál proceso está hablando acá el manual. It says, listen to the pronunciation of the different steps to follow when making an online purchase. Then write down the steps in order. What process are we talking about? Making an online purchase, okay? Making an online purchase. Now let's see, we have to find the first step, the second step, the third step, the fourth step, the fifth step, the sixth step, the seventh step, the eighth step, right? So <laughs> we are going to dance. Yeah, no, come on, no, we're not gonna dance. Okay, so let's see the process that we have over here. Here they are, um, kind of the guidelines of the steps, right? So let's read the first one. Credit cards information. Credit cards information. Confirm your information and submit. Select the item or the items to purchase. Go to the online web page. Write your billing address. 
check the price, confirm the method of payment, log in to your account. Okay, and it says, listen to the pronunciation of the different steps. Now, I want you to say what you heard, okay? Ahora ustedes van a decirlos, yo los voy a señalar y ustedes los van leyendo, okay? You read them. So, let me get this thing. Okay, here it is. This one, the first one, okay? <laughs> Okay, this refers to your name or the name on the car, the number of the car, the address in the car, the date, the ex expiration date, right? Expiring date, expiring, expiring date. Okay, so credit cards information. The next one. And submit. 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 Yes. Okay. Next one. Select the item or items to purchase. Okay. Select the item or the items to purchase. Okay. Okay. Repeat, teacher. Select the sí. item or the items to purchase. Select the items of items to purchase. Okay. Next one. Ah, I want everybody to say it. Only Juan Carlos said it. Okay. Everybody, Select. please. Select the item or the items to purchase. Thank you, Karina. Everyone, I want to hear you Select guys. The items. Or the items to purchase. Okay. Items. Okay, next one. Go to the online go web page. Go to the online web page. Thank you. To the next one. Web page. Write a write web page. Write write your billing, billing address. address. Billing address. Okay, next one. Check the price. Check the price. price. Next one. The last one. Login to your, to your account. account. Okay. Is there any question about the vocabulary in these steps? Questions? The web page is the site. The site in the internet. Thank you. Okay. Is there any other question? What is billing? Billing is uh, fa the factura donde se manda la cuenta. Thank you. Facturación, Either. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we need to uh, order the process. We need to see which one of these is the first step. Login mm. to your account. Go to the online web page. Go to the online web page. Okay, let's write it down. Go to the uh -huh. online, online web page. Okay, let's see. What will be the second? Login to, like the, to your account. account first. Again, log in oh, okay. to, to your, your account. account. Okay, 
Let's see number three or the third step. Um, select the select items. Select the items. Confirm your information. And confirm your information. Excuse me? Uh, confirm, is confirm. confirm your information. Confirm information. Confirm your information. What do you think, no. guys? Teacher, select the item. Number, number select purchase. Um, Credit information is the, the, the finish. Uh, okay. Is the last. Okay, Carlos Eduardo pay. wants to say something. Okay. Uh, the login your account is when what did I say? Mm -hmm. The order. Uh, uh, before is select uh, item or, or you, your order complete. Okay, what do you think, guys? Confirm your information, teacher. Yes. Okay, does anyone want to answer to this? I think confirm your information is the last step. Okay, when yes, because have you have to submit, things. right? Because you have yes. to submit your order, right? So I think, okay, we can write it down here and then we recheck, okay? We double check. So select the item or the items, right? I'm going to write this one because you said it first. Now, let's see, select the item or the items to purchase, uh -huh. right? Now, let's see. Check um, yeah, because Giovanni said confirm uh, your information, right? And submit. Eso fue lo que me dijo Giovanni. So now let's see. Lo vamos a escribir así y luego revisamos. Okay? Now, fourth, the fourth step. Fourth step. Check. 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 Uh huh. What uh, what will be the fifth step? Um, method of payment. Confirm. the method of payment. Confirm the method of payment. Okay. Now, what do you think is the sixth step? Credit card, card information. Credit card, credit card information. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see the seventh step. Confirm the method of payment. We have it in the fifth. In the fifth. Confirm the method of payment. Write your billing address. Write your billing address. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what will be the eighth? Confirm your information. information. Submit. Aunque no sé si va antes. Which one? Which one, Suleyma? Yes, teacher. Which one do you think it goes before? Uh huh. No, este, el confirmation, no sé si va antes de la dirección, no sé. De la facturación. Uh, because they, I mean, billing address is part of the information, right? Ah, okay. Uh huh. Okay, teacher. Okay. What do you think, guys? Are we okay with the steps? Yes. Okay, so I want three of you are going to read the process, okay? Entonces, vamos a borrar acá, Giovanni. Uh, did you see why this is not the place? Giovanni? Uh, 
¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Karina. Me molesta a Karina porque ella es, es, es Ella compra trabajo. bastante online. Ok, no, let's see. Hagámosle caso a Karina, dice. Vamos a ver si es cierto. A ver si Karina... Ah, entonces si Karina se equivoca también ustedes. No, uh -huh. no, deje lo mío, teacher. Lo mío está very cool. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Let's see. Ok, vamos a ver. Lo voy a poner, lo voy a poner. Ok. Uh, vamos a ver. Confirm. Sí, porque... Your information. And submit. Okay, remember that we are making an online purchase. Okay, this is the process that we are defining here. Okay, what are the steps when we make an online purchase? So, let's see. Um, bueno, como a petición, vamos a pedirle a Karina que lea el proceso completo. Okay, we are going to ask Karina to read the complete process first, and then I'm going to ask for more, okay? So for okay. petition, Karina, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay, go ahead. Go to the first, go to the online online web page. Second, log in to your account. Third, select the items, the item or the items to purchase or confirm your information. <laughs> no, no, it's your submit. it's your present. I mean, it's what okay. you think. Uh-huh. It's okay. what you think. Um I repeat. Uh -huh. Third, select the item or the items to purchase. Fourth, check the price. Fifth, confirm the method of payment. Sixth, credit cards information. Seventh, write your billing address. Eighth, confirm your information and submit. Okay, thank you very much, Karina. Okay, now let's see. Do you agree with this process with Karina? Do you agree with her? Yes. Giovanni is going to say no teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Who wants to participate now reading the process? Who wants to read the process? Wendy, do you want to read the process? It's correct. Okay, as you think, please read it. Lea el proceso completo, okay? Go, go to the only web page. Log, log in to your account. Select the item purchase. Check the price, confirm the method of payment, credit card information, write your billing address, confirm your, confirm your information and submit. submit. Okay. Thank you very much, Wendy. Okay, now who wants to read the complete process? Go ahead, Carlos Eduardo. Uh, I'm not. Uh, you don't agree. No, don't agree. Yes. Tell uh, me maybe, why. Maybe and um, with touch of a bank. Yes, allowing your account uh, after the to go go to the only web page. That but when uh, when I I wanna buy uh, something. Uh, first, uh, go to the online web page, select product, and check the price. Um, uh, it's okay the order. Uh, then uh, next step is is uh, log in to your account. Maybe it is not register or completely. Uh, when you log in, when you log in, uh huh, uh, it's not login, it's not account, it's create, create a new account, and a, a complete information uh, order. 
Okay, so you think that you have to log into your account after selecting the items. And maybe it's a good web, web page, example, Amazon, eBay, uh, or, or food order. Okay. Okay, what do you think, guys? Do you agree with Carlos? Mm, yeah, for example, sure. for example, this is with online web pages, okay? This is with an online web page. But if we change that into apps, okay? If we change this into apps, the first step will, be, I mean, the second step uh, obviously will be log into your account, right? Log into your, if you don't mm -hmm. uh, install the, okay. the app in your phone, then you can't, right? You can't access to buy anything. Okay, this is what Carlos is saying. He says, in a uh, web page uh, like Amazon, uh-huh. Uh, lo que pasa es que because this project, this process is when there is already an account create. created. Created, yes. Process. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, you think that this is okay? Okay, yeah, well, yeah. yes, I think it is okay too, Carlos, uh, because of that. This is this is an online, online web page. And for example, if I want to buy what I buy in the internet uh, is like um, information and I pay for uh, sites, I mean, teachers resources, okay, teachers resources. So I have to get an account to have access to that. So if, if I don't have an account, I can't get that service. I can't get that product. Okay, so I think you first have to log into your account. And also, you know what? You know what? Uh, when you access to the, to the place or to the site, it usually appears. ¿Con qué quiere continuar, right? Do you want to continue with cuál de las cuentas que tiene registradas? Usually it happens. Usually it happens. Okay, but in the process that Carlos follows, he says no, right? Okay. En el sitio que Carlos Eduardo compra, no se hace de esa manera, right? Carlos? Okay, he first selects the about? item. Uh -huh. Select item first. Okay, you select first the item and then you log into your account. Uh, Logging to pay. Oh, uh, okay. For, for the personal uh, address. Uh, okay. Protect. Yes, but that's oh, cool. not exactly um, logging to your account in the site. Okay, is uh, logging to your credit card account okay or to your credit card information yes. so i think uh this process is okay carlos okay first you go to the online web page then you log into your account of the place okay of the place and then uh, you select the item and then you check the price price and then you confirm the method of payment right when you confirm the method of payment then you have to see the credit card information okay and this is what you are calling login to your account, okay? Uh, um, tal vez el nombre es lo que le está eh, haciendo la duda, Carlos, okay? Porque eh, credit cards information acá es lo que usted toma como una cuenta del banco, right? Como uh, un account del banco. Yes, es pagadito, eh, very fine. Eh, the, the account is... Eh, with the order is complete. And mm -hmm. then your credit card information. Mm, okay. Okay. This is very important because it's a different process. So you can write it down, Carlos. Okay. You write down that process and then you share that with us tomorrow. Okay. 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 Uh, para tener una idea de que también existe de acuerdo al sitio, verdad, un proceso. En general, podríamos decir que esto es 
de este modo, ¿verdad? Pero en los sitios de esos eh, hay exacto, this is like standard, okay. So, let's continue and let's say this like this. First step, second step, third step, fourth step, fifth step, sixth step, fifth, uh, seventh step, eighth step. Cuando decimos todo esto, tengamos el cuidado, voy a abrir un cuadrito de texto acá, de este sonido, ¿ok? TH, ¿ok? Ese, a ver, todos poniendo la lengua exactamente entre los dientes, like this, right? Y soplamos, como una Z española, right? Like a, a Spanish... Right? No importa que escupan al principio. Okay. Yes, it doesn't matter if you speed out. Okay. Okay, you can uh, try saying this sound. Everybody, I want to hear you guys. Quiero escuchar ese sonido. ¿Cómo? No, no me Ponga su lengua entre los dientes, like this, right? Mm -hmm. Y sopla. <laughs> I want to hear, I want to hear you, Ana Delmi. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, like this. <laughs> Okay. Y entonces cuando decimos fourth, okay, fourth, ya eh, nuestra fourth. lengua, uh, ahí yeah. ya, fourth, 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 fourth. fourth. se fourth. enrolla la lengua, ok, se enrolla la lengua porque fourth. son fourth, ok, fourth, fourth. fourth. correcto, fourth, fourth, fourth. No suena como T, sino que suena como una Z. Ahora, eso Fourth. es los números ordinarios. Fourth. De la misma manera, vamos a decir las fechas. Fourth. Excellent, Fourth. Ana Delmi. There Fourth. you are. Nancy, we want to hear you, Nancy. Fourth. 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 Okay. Fourth. Carlos Roberto, we want to hear you. Fourth. 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 Carlos Roberto, mm -hmm. are you there? Fourth. Yes, teacher. Fourth. 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 Okay, with a TH at the end. Why do we have to take in consideration how to pronounce this and why it is so important? Because it has different sounds. Okay, it has different sounds. It has a uh, soft sound and a strong sound, okay? The strong sound is like that, okay? But there is another that is like the, 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 okay? The, for example, when we say the, okay? The or the, nosotros cambiamos ese sonido, no suena the, right? Suena the, 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 the. Entonces, vamos a decir, quiero escucharlos, first step. First step. First step. First step. Go to the First. online web page. <laughs> Go to oh, the online, online, online web, web page. Second step. Second step. Second step. Second step. step. Log into your account. Log in your account. account. Third account. step. There are steps. Third step. step. Third step. Select the item to purchase. Select, select the item to purchase. Fourth step. Fourth, fourth step. Check the price. Check, check the price. price. Fifth step. Fifth, fifth step. step. Confirm the method of payment. Okay, you see method, 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 
system. Credit card information. Credit card information. Seven step. Seven step. step. Write your billing address. Write your billing address. A the step. A the step. Confirm your information and submit. Confirm your information and submit. 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 Okay. Submit. Correct. Do you have any question about this? No questions? Okay. We're going to finish with the uh, next activity. Okay. It says... Mm -hmm. Okay. Y aquí tenemos el sonido que les estaba diciendo. Miren de la T y la H. Okay. Vamos a ver. It says, circle the correct. Just let me check this thing here. Okay. It says, circle. Uh, it doesn't circle. Ah, it's white. That is why. Okay, like this. Circle. The correct answer. And let's see. Here we have to check if it is plural or if uh, they are talking in singular. Okay. In this case, number one, it says it's necessary to follow steps to purchase what someone needs. What do you think we're going to use? Those steps or that those. steps? Those. Those. Okay. Those steps. Number two, I think that I want to buy those or that big desk. I like it. That. 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 Okay. That. Do you see the pronunciation of this TH? Esta TH es diferente de los nombres that. números ordinales, ¿verdad? Es that, that. 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 Okay, es el that. sonido suave, okay? Do you want that. to buy mm, mm, refrigerator? Uh -huh. Fresh. It Fresh. comes in four different mm -hmm. colors. This or this? This. 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 Okay. This. This. <laughs> okay, these or this? This. 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 It's not this. It's not this. It's this. Okay. This. This. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. There you are. Number four. I'm going to buy these or this two tablets with these or this credit card. I creo una letra D. This. 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 This, this. This. There you are. Okay, with this, with this, okay, these, this. Okay. Now, if you see here, okay, it's 10 o'clock, guys. Well, it's 9.59. It's 9.59. Oh, God, we need to take the attendance. Okay, is there any question about this activity? No, teacher. So okay. The pronunciation, teacher. The, the, okay. In this, what's the difference? Okay, Please. I'm going to write it down here. These. Okay. These. 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 This. Okay. These. Kind of long. Okay. These. Y el corto es this, this, this. Okay? These, plural. Abrimos así, these. Okay? Como una I completa. Ahora, la otra es como una uh, this. Okay? 
No es e. No es e. This. 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 Short. Okay? Short. These. Or this. You got it? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, this is those, 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 that. 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 Aquí no hacemos el sonido así como el otro, ¿verdad? Hacemos that. The, 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 the. No hacemos fat. Okay? Hacemos that. Is it okay? Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to take the attendance. Tomorrow we are going to do some exercises about the uh, demonstrative pronouns. Okay. And... Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores, ah, el día de ahora le toca a Carlos Roberto, ¿ok? Carlos Roberto se va a quedar. Yes, teacher. Ok. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present, teacher. Ok. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present, teacher. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Edwin thank Eliseo you. Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Okay. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present teacher. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Okay. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Rivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Okay, guys. So Carlos Roberto stays with me and ah, solo eh, por favor los que no han hecho la tarea y si la pueden realizar el día de ahora se los agradeceré para que ya me aparezca la calificación y ya pueda yo enviar porque ya finalizamos la unidad 1. Ese cambio lo vamos a hacer también en la próxima semana. El día miércoles va a tener que estar lista la siguiente unidad. Ok. Ya no hasta el viernes, sino que cambiémonos a que el miércoles vamos, porque un día miércoles o jueves, ¿verdad? Es que finalizamos el curso, ¿verdad? Entonces no vamos a llegar hasta viernes. Así que pongámonos eso en meta en nuestro eh, horario, ¿verdad? Gracias a todos. Okay. Thank you very much. And let That's us meet good. tomorrow. Bye. Have a good See night, tomorrow. everyone. See, See you. Kisses and hugs. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Okay, Carlos Roberto. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay. Is there any question that I can help you with? Bueno, quizá no tengo una pregunta en concreto, pero sí que creo que valdría la pena si me puede apoyar repasando un poco las unidades de medida que estamos viendo en The Futures. Okay. Let's go and check them out. Thank you. Let me open this. One second. Okay, we were saying about the measurements, right? Measurements. Measurements. Mm -hmm. Just let me share this with you, but let me find it out. Okay, here we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are. So you were talking about the dimensions, I think, right? Yes. This is nice. Mm -hmm. 
when we talk about the sizes, we are mm, referring to the uh, magnitude of that uh, object, right? So, for example, they can come by letters or they can be done by numbers, like the shoes, right? And the shoes, we, we um, the sizes are by numbers, for example, the seven and so on, right? Seven, eight, nine, 9.5, it depends on the country, right? The measurement. But in our country, I think uh, it's seven for women is the, the common size, right? La, la talla del pueblo, right? And for men, I think it's nine and 10, right? In right. El Salvador. So um, they, are, they come by numbers. But if we think about uh, the clothing, then we can say um, they come by letters like small, medium, large. They use S, M, L, XL. Yep right, double XL, right? So they come in that way. And we use these other term like one size, it means it's a unique size. Mm -hmm. There are no other sizes. So mm -hmm. one size is for everyone, right? Plus size is when for women like me, right? Or for men, you know, big men, right? Mm -hmm. And white size is, for example, the shoes. They come in narrow or the normal size or the regular size. And it could be a um, wider, right? Un poquito más ancho. So it's mm -hmm. white size. It's always seven in the long thing, right? It's seven long, but white is wider than the other seven. Okay, un poquito más ancho. Okay, are we okay with the size? Yes. Um, okay, well, now let's go to the weight. Thank you. Okay. When we talk about the weight, um, for example, if you go to the um, doctor, okay, they need mm -hmm. to see what's your weight, okay? Your mass, yes. okay? Your mass, okay? Um, it's also, uh, for example, we have a substance uh, or, or yeah, a substance or maybe any object, okay? Any product that mm -hmm. come in bags, for example, or in boxes, or the, it depends on the package, right? On the right. package that they use, usually in bags, they could be heavy or they could be light. Heavy is very, a lot of mass, right? And light is okay, there's not that much mass, right? And we use a scale to um, measure, measure this weight. We can uh, say the weight is given by kilograms, okay? Or grams, right? Uh, the weight is also measured like pounds or like ounces, right? So there are others, but at the moment, I can give you these examples, kilograms, grams, pounds, ounces, right? Quintal, right? Is quintal. Quintal is quintal. Yeah, it doesn't change because they don't have a word. They don't have a word for quintal, right? It's, uh, yes, they do because they use a hundred, right? A hundred. Yeah, something like that. I think it is a hundred pounds. So, oh, yes, but it's not, mm, eh, no es común porque en, en Estados Unidos no se mide así. It's more yeah. by kilograms, right? It's more by grams in uh, tones, por toneladas, tones, yeah? And just remember that the abbreviations that you are going to see for pounds is LBS yeah. because that's the Latin it comes by Latin, it comes from Latin word, okay? Así como en español, ¿verdad? Viene de latín también. Cierto. Okay. Is there any question about this? Eh, bueno, esto sería sobre la masa, ¿verdad? Exactly. Eh, or the content, or the content in the package, right? For example, sugar, right? Meat. You, 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 they sell the meat um, by the weight, right? They sell a pound of meat, 
right? They sell um, the sugar, flour, and beans, rice by the weight, okay? Yes. Una libra de azúcar, a pound of sugar, so, yeah. Um, okay, those are different. Those are different, but it's content too, but they are liquids like liters. Yes, yes. liters. Liters. Okay. Liters. Uh, but the liters is como uh, quartz. Quartz is the word. I think I am going to write it down quartz. here. Like okay. quartz, like this. <clears throat> That's the liter. Oh. Then we have gallons, okay, yes, gallons, yeah. gallons. a bottle, okay, is the same as bottle, como una botella de crema, right, something like that. Um, it depends on the product, it depends yes. on the product, yes. because some of the products come by the um, uh, milliliters, they, they uh, use this, right, ml, right. And uh -huh. like the medicine, right? Like yeah. the medicine and those kind of things. Okay, okay. this is talking about the amount of uh, these objects, okay? The yes. amount of the liquid that it, that comes in a bottle, right? Or in a package, right? Yes. Something like that. Okay. Mm. Is it okay with, ah, uh, what yes. I was gonna say about the weight is, uh, creo que esta parte mm. is the weight, okay? How much is the weight of something, right? Mm. Pero si yo pregunto, how much does it weigh, okay? Ahí está la diferencia. Weight es el peso, like a noun, okay? And weigh is the verb, the action, the action of measuring it, okay? The action of measuring the weight is weigh. So if it is the action, then when you conjugate that verb is it weighs, okay? Or they way okay is it correct so it's only on the... hmm? how much does this break mm -hmm. okay ve la diferencia entre las dos preguntas how much is the weight okay and how much does it weigh is una es verbo this is the noun answer. yes okay. and this is the verb correct so the answer here is it weighs or they weigh, okay? Because of the conjugation. Tercera persona se agrega letra S, okay? Yes, and here, you just say the measure, right? For example, 40 pounds. Pounds, we could say LBS, right? There you are. Mm -hmm. 40 pounds. So if you see the, the, difference, the difference of the um, structure, how to say the things, right? <laughs> Creo que habría una forma de unir ambas en una sola oración, ¿verdad? Um, I don't know. Uh, the moment I can think it. What uh -huh. do you think? How much? What? Uh -huh. uh, how much is it like? How much is... Ah, no sé, de pronto, como si es un verbo. Uh -huh. Ajá. No sé, pero sí creo que tiene razón. Yo entiendo por qué esto es tan fácil pensar en eso. <laughs> okay. uh, pero al momento okay. no se me ocurre de acuerdo a lo que me pregunta me dice si puedo unir las dos preguntas en una sola cosa o las dos palabras al menos wait and wait como... ah que okay. un ejemplo sí Ajá, pero, 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 pero. ok this refrigerator okay. weighs 40 pounds ok 40 LBS, okay? This refrigerator weighs, uh, let's say 140, okay? Nah, just for saying, okay? Weighs 140 pounds. I'm going to move this a little, okay? And this is a sentence 
with the use, I mean, the usage of the verb, okay? The verb, this is the sentence. Okay, this is the verb. So I'm going to place a comma there, it, okay? We, uh, it's weight, uh, it's weight is light, okay? Uh, Something like that. Uh, this is what I, it comes to my mind, <laughs> mind okay? Like <laughs> coming up. <laughs> okay. Okay, these are the measures of size and weight. And the other was dimensions, right? Mm -hmm. Dimensions. In the dimensions, we have other measurements or the proportions because this is width, depth, length, and high uh, by length by high, okay? La altura por el largo, por el ancho, por el largo, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, estas tres medidas normalmente pues son de from a package or maybe from a pro any product, any pro a table, maybe furniture, any any piece of furniture or decorations, or maybe you are building a house. So you ask, or you are buying a house, then you ask for the dimensions of that house. Okay, yeah. so, and then they say area and they say other measurements about yeah. the dimensions. Okay, dimensions or proportions of that object or the, of that product, right? So yeah. we could say meters, centimeters, um, millimeters, and yeah. um, you can say with the adjectives, these dimensions, if you don't have an exact dimension, then you can just give uh -huh. an adjective uh, qualificating it, right? Or uh, saying a qualification or of something, right? Like yeah. long, tall, short, small, little, mm -hmm. big, but usually it's long and short, okay? With the dimensions, okay? Long and short or big and small okay for example if you are buying the house you say is it a big house then you have the idea but you don't yeah. know the dimensions right yeah. or for example you want to buy a house and they say no it's a small house mm -hmm. yeah. okay they don't say a short house they say a small house yeah. and then you have the idea right then yes. you don't know the proportions exactly but you know that it is not going to be mm, yeah, a big thing, right? Okay. Uh, and you can also say, well, it's like a medium size, okay? It's mm. like a medium size, okay? Yes. Como haciendo una referencia a que no es ni grande ni pequeña, yes. ¿verdad? Yes. Not so big, not so small, so it's like a medium size, yes. Yes. okay? What can you buy with the dimensions? I mean, asking for the dimensions and the houses, or maybe um, decorations, okay? Uh, you can buy, uh, as I said, the pieces of furniture, okay? Un mueble, por ejemplo, tú dices, uh, ese está muy grande para mi cuarto, okay? So uh, that's too big for my room. So I'm looking for um, a piece of furniture or, um, a nightstand, for example, una mesita de noche, a nightstand, then I'm looking for it in a small proportion, okay, in a small proportion, okay, or maybe I need a bigger one, right, so then I say, well, I need it like uh, uh, maybe uh, in centimeters, we could say half a meter, okay, 50 centimeters, la mitad de un metro, okay, so you can use these um, measurements like meter, centimeter, and millimeter, and you know, so. Okay. Thank you. And so, yes. and, and the question is, what are the dimensions of something, okay? What are the dimensions of, of something, okay? okay? So for example, if I tell you, I'm going to do this. Okay, I want to buy, uh, what is this? I want to buy a um, house, okay? 
Then you tell me, okay, there is a house available, okay. Uh, avail available. Then I ask, okay, is it, or oh, I can say, what are the dimensions? Okay. Then you can tell me, what are the dimensions, Carlos Roberto, of the house that you are offering? Bueno, the most common is a big house. Okay, good. It's a big house. Excellent. It's a big house. You see, this is the way to use the proportions or the dimensions. Okay. Yes, okay. You ask, what are the dimensions? Or for example, what are the dimensions of the cell phone that you want to buy? For example, about the screen, right? The screen, you want to know about the screen, then they say in inches because they use inches too, right? Do you remember inches? Inches. Mm -hmm. Inches and there, for example, para la estatura de las personas is feet, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Inches. The abbreviation is IN and for feet is FT. Okay. Oh, okay. There yeah. you are. And FT. Okay. Yeah. Bien, y, y respecto al punto, aquí te a mm -hmm. los puntos, se dice point para eh, especificar decimales. Oh, yes. In numbers, we use point. Yes, for oh, the decimals. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Okay. Period yes. is solamente in the spelling or in the orthography. Okay. Spelling, language. Okay. Igual, este, creo que cuando hablamos del correo electrónico, por ejemplo, es otro. Is that. That. <laughs> yes, that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Entonces, okay, Carlos Roberto. <laughs> Is there any other thing or everything is clear? Everything is clear. Thank you so much. Okay, nice. My pleasure. So have a good night, Carlos Roberto. Uh, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>